Hey, what's going on boys? I'm Shane here from Rocket Proud Sound Tutorials and today we're gonna be making the main sound from Eptic's track Nightshade. Now this is what the bass sounds like. Uh, my bass is actually spot on to his. And I decided I'd show you what's going on here. Just some very basic uh, sound design here. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. But before I get started, just to let you guys know, we dropped Borged Out Bass Volume 1 for Serum yesterday, in case you missed it. And it's basically a pack inspired by the sounds of both Barely Alive and Virtual Riot. I think it's very awesome. And if you go ahead and tweet about it, you instantly get 10% off the purchase of the pack. So that how awesome is that, right? But let's go ahead and get right into this. So what's going on here is we basically have some frequency modulation between oscillator A and oscillator B. Oscillator B is going to be a sign. It's going to be the host of this modulation as to we have a misfits wavetable running against the sign. Okay, and then in here we have the hyper in dimension. The hyper is just used for um, kind of like the, what would I say? Kind of like a chorus effect. It's just kind of detuning it at a very fast rate, which is kind of giving this that vibrato sound, as well as we do have an external vibrato onto the matrix. And then, of course, we just have a multi band compressor to just kind of even out the frequencies altogether. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, oscillator A, let me just go ahead, bypass these, or I'll actually, you know, I'll just. Okay, so oscillator A. I went ahead and I went with I went to digital. We'll go with misfits. So this is a wavetable that doesn't have much movement. If we just go ahead and move it around, just what is it? How many frames is this? Just two frames, as I thought. Okay, so we the main key to this is. I was just trying to find the sweet spot because I could hear that there was going to be some form of FM in this sound. So I went ahead and turned this level all the way down. And I'm like, okay, there's probably a one, uh, one octave pitch differential, my bad. <laughs> that was a little weird moment there. Between the two, kind of giving us a metallic sound, but not quite because we are going to be playing it a little bit lower. But just because we're so low on the octave, instead of turning this up, I turn this down. So we're brought to that sound right here. You know, it's all optional. But here we're just going to kind of find that sweet spot. I left it about here because I think that's where it sounds the best. And uh, we'll turn this FM to about 54. Because, you know, it's kind of even pretty sweet in that spot. Um, yeah, no filtering. So, yeah, pretty simple here. And we are just going to throw on a low frequency oscillator onto LFO1. Give it a little shape like this. Make the rate, let's say, 1 eighth. I'm on 140 BPM right now. So, we're getting there, okay? Stay with me. All right into the effects here we this is the standard settings for a hyper in dimension but we're gonna want to turn up that hyper you know what I'm saying so we're gonna turn that detune to about 65 percent turn that mix up even more maybe turn up the rate a bit and then as well to the dimension just kind of turn down that size to about I don't know two percent the mix to about 30 something percent Next, we get into our compressor. We're just going to turn on that multiband. So, as you can see, not really shaping the sound too well. So, um, that's going to lead us into the matrix. The matrix is going to be where most of the sound actually takes place. So, we're going to select our low frequency oscillator number one and stick it onto the global. Oh, hold up. Yeah, global master tune. And we're just going to be making this go up 19 points on the matrix amount. 
And as you can see, we're really starting to form the sound a little bit right now. So, uh, 19 is about... I think it's two octaves. I keep getting confused by this. I Because I made a video about it a while ago, but I forgot the scale on the amount between semitones. But, uh, yeah, this is either one or two octaves. And then we are also going to create a new source, which is going to be LFO2. And from here, we're just going to create a very simplified half of a vibrato. See, this is a normal vibrato waveform, which if you um, or low frequency oscillator path, which so this is a path that it'll normally follow in a normal vibrato as you turn up the knob or whatever you're doing. But we're just going to turn that down to about 0.5 on each side 0.5 negative 0.5 and this is going to be running it once again to the master tune maybe drop this down so it's dropping 0.5 um, it's going to be around 0.5 negative 0.5 of a semitone and then it's going up 0.5 of a semitone and this is going back and forth clearly we're going to have to turn up that rate And that's really all it takes to make the sound. Um, maybe even turn on the voicing. And yeah, that's all it took, you guys. I mean, it really wasn't that hard of a sound, but I hope you guys picked up something new that you learned from this video. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Drop a like, drop a sub if you haven't already. Guys, I love you so much. I'm out.